We're back with audio. You can see it's probably not necessarily a good thing as I'm recovering from a cold and can hear my very scratchy voice. But we're back for another tutorial. As you can see, you know, there's been a lot of flack given to Scopely, but those coin packs are excellent packs um, for those, you know, who need more coins. As one can probably see, I have roughly 14 million, but you can always use more coins. So today, let's take a look at the roster and some options to go through tutorial-wise. Um, here we are talent-wise in my roster. I really don't see the point in doing a tutorial on a guy like Baylor or even a guy like The Miz, who you can see here is full three-star gold. It, it's fairly obvious he's one match, and boom, the gems come out. There isn't a whole lot of magic to it. Everybody knows they're both pretty good. Um, so today what we're going to do is we're going to focus on Baron Corbin. A lot of people landed Baron Corbin, whether it's through the, um, the PC or this past week. Um, he was a two-star gold. Now, looking at Baron Corbin's moves, ideally what you want to do is you want to have both black moves. As you can see, one's a five charge, one's a 13 charge. Additionally, since he does not have any generation necessarily that's quick enough, you want to go with the green move, which creates the multiplier gems. Now that Sting is out, the red moves can come into play, but generally speaking, all you're doing is changing purple gems, which is restrictive on its own merit. And if we look here, he would move four if we maxed out the move at 10, which for all extents and purposes, you know, you're not really changing the game. So I still say we want to stick with black, black, green. Backing it back out now. Now we need to make sure we get our max trainers. Now, Baylor and the Powerhouse Braun have the same training ability. They break up to nine black gems. Originally, myself and Tijoli from Execution, where, oh, by the way, I've returned to, we tested Baron Corbin out a lot when he first came out. And interestingly enough, we found that as opposed to going with Sin Cara, which sends out a lot of multiplier gems on the black, or even Titus, the destroy needs to be more than the multipliers because you want to make sure you clip them all. Now, they will destroy every non-affected gem first. So if we had it down to only, let's see what, it would be only four. If there were eight gems out and three of them had multiplier gems, the AI will destroy the five black gems before they hit our multiplier gems, if that makes any sense. So you really need to cover your bases and have the maximum nine so that you can make sure you clip these multiplier gems. Now, the other trainer we want to have, and for this video I will pay the transfer fee, is Bray Wyatt. Now, the reason for that is we want to start with the multiplier gem upgrade already charged. And here's why. So, we're going to go, as we often do, the ultimate test is let's have him face someone in versus. Now, relatively speaking... This cannot be ignored. His SmackDown link takes the green multiplier move, which is, as you're well aware, a six charge. And it makes it a turn two move instead of a turn three move. This helps across the board on everything. Now, let's see who do we want to face. Why don't we face my buddy Wolfson? We're going to face his Baylor coupled with his Seth. Now, ideally, to be able to trigger the finisher, what we want to happen here is we want to get a green match, a black, and then use the black move followed by a black match. Now, 
facing Baylor, we may have to be a little bit more defensive because, as everybody knows, you get hit with the two, the two in a row, you're dead. So here we go. What we're going to do here is we're going to go for the green. We're going to go for the green first, looking no problem. We all know Baylor's going to go for the black, and we hope now. At this point, there really is no purpose in shooting out because we don't have a black match set up. So what we're going to want to do here is maybe hope that he can help us out a little bit. Let's, let's move the purple. Okay. And we just set up his... We just set up that blue like an idiot. What we're going to do here is we're going to try this out. There's only three blacks on the board. But, you know what? Maybe we'll get lucky. At least one of them will be a multiplier. Things could be worse. So, that was about 30 on its own. Maybe it'll clear the board a little bit. And that was the hope there. But look at all those reds and purples. This thing's going to be ugly. All we can really hope for here is maybe a premature pin. Hopefully something for us to work with. You know, and that's really just what happened here. We got extremely lucky. It did not go as planned. But at this juncture, my bet is he's going down. Let's see if we can preserve it. So now, here we are. We got killed because I'm an idiot. You'll see the multiplier gems. This will take... And now you're going to see exactly what I mentioned earlier. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We got 12. See that four-timer, which is a monster? It's 13, 2, 9, 2. It's not even going to get broken. But this should still be enough. Nine blacks to take down Baylor. Let's see. And it is through no help of myself. That wasn't how we wanted it to go, nor should have been the way it was to go. That being said, a win's a win. Let's take on a Seth here. He's more made as an anti-Seth, which I think is important. If you also noticed, interestingly enough, the four times, even though he was facing Seth, he didn't get the 25% um, gem bonus, which I thought was kind of interesting there. So even though they show it, if you looked there... They didn't give him the bonus. I guess he only, before they used to give you the bonus universally, it looks like that, that didn't happen there. So here we go. This is not a great situation for us because we do not have, at any point here, the um, a green that's accessible. That being said, what we will do here is we'll get a black and get closer to release the finisher. <laughs> and once again, raining from God here. The two blues we're going to get slashed with to start this match. And unlike last time, I'm not sure we're going to be able to recover. Oof. 
I mean, a 64K finish is what it is. And, you know, there's a reason he's the best in the game. Um, I mean, I could really try to think this one through, but I, I'm just not seeing any way that I could pull anything out of him. You know, in that situation, you just, you move on, you nod your cap, and, you know, you call it for the best. And look at that, almost within 2,000. It gives you an idea. That just shows you striker power right there. A couple cascades, you know, and he was within 2,000 and kicking out. I mean, you could argue, based upon the fact that I don't have a max to 120, if I had the, uh, the uptick in gem damage, I might have been able to kick out of that. I mean, it's scary, but I hope this gives you an idea of what we're talking about with Corbin here. And if we just take a look, see, his he had a four times on that black gem damage. So before, if you recall, we pulled up his damage. It was a little over 13, which it, it doesn't add up if you look at it in terms of um, the 25% gem bonus. So at some point, Scopely did make that change. See, none of this went ideally for Baron Corbin, so but it, I think it still gives you an idea of how the character works. And, you know, I really I hope you appreciate this time to see that he can be effective. You know, ideally it's green, black, and go. He's more prone for the verses because I said before you'd have to wait, but he's an effective character. He can win, and any striker has an ability to get out of even a terrible situation. So that's my tutorial on Baron Corbin. But we're even going to do this now and see if he can pull something out of his hat because I'm not wasting any more health packs for you guys as much as I love you. So here we go. Knowing full well what we're looking at. We get a green here. And this can just, this can really show you the devastation if I can get lucky enough to survive. But with that cascade on the bottom, eh, maybe it'll let me live. It's the only real way here at this point, because as we know, and it will. So this is a perfect example of Baron Corbin. He's going to lay down a monster of a finish on turn three. Even though some of these multipliers won't get clipped. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So only one of them should get clipped if my math is right. I guess not. So it's good to be wrong. I'll take it. <laughs> but you can see right there, and again, another execution made Mach 23. Sorry, buddy, but... Oh, and look at that, 1,000. So that last match really shows you the kind of firepower that if things work out right, can go. So, guys, I hope this was helpful. I'm glad we did that last match, just to roll the dice. Um, any questions, feel free to comment below. I'm open to any and all tutorials, some ones that I'm thinking about, as we talked about here.